Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In today's video, I want to let you in on a little secret that most people do not know. And that is, Google can read what's inside your images. Once you find out how smart Google's AI is at reading things in your images, it's going to change your perspective on how SEO works moving forward. Google has this free tool called Cloud Vision where you can upload an image, and what it does is it gives you back all the metadata that it can find inside your image. I'm going to show you a few examples of our own images and how they actually rank inside Google Image Search because of this tool. I'm going to start with this image right here. And as you can see, this was a video that we created where I just showed how to animate an object flying across the screen. Now take note, I do have some text in here just so you can see that when you have text inside of an image, Google can actually read what's inside of that and give you uh, data on what it is that it thinks the image is. So now all you need to do is click and drag that image into this website right here. And I'll have a link in the description below. So once you upload that, you just need to say, I am not a robot. And once you do that, this image is uh, pretty simple. So right here, it doesn't really recognize anything else. It just calls it packaged goods. But in the next example, you're going to see there's a lot more data on this one called objects. Now, if you go under labels, it kind of goes through and gives you what it thinks it is. So there's graphic design, darkness, a skull. So it must have picked up one of these skulls here. And, you know, just kind of, this is a very simple example, but this is where all the magic is happening. So if you look underneath text, you can see it's reading all the text within this image. And you can see right here, make an image fly across the screen Elementor tutorial. It picked all of those words up inside here and knows that it's inside this paragraph. And it even got some other ones down here. So this had the date. Let me pull this image back here. This had the date right here, Halloween party. And this was like a play ghost button I had in there. So it's reading all that information. And you can see right here, Halloween party, play ghost, uh, RIP. And then, you know, it just picks up these random things that thinks the eyes are like A's. But so that's a really good example. Um, they also have this other tab up here called Safe Search, which gives you a lot of good information if Google thinks that your image is not uh, suitable for the regular Safe Search. So as you can see, it's uh, you have different uh, categories called adult, spoof, medical, violence, racy. So if it thinks that it's just not um, safe to show on the regular search, this is going to be in the red over here, and you don't want that. You want to make sure that they pretty much always say very unlikely. So that way you know that it's just going to always be indexed inside Google Search. And so if I actually just type in those words up here where I wanted to make sure that this image can get indexed inside Google image search. So I type in this right here, make an image fly across the screen. I put that on there on purpose as an experiment. And you can see right here, when you go to Google and you go to the image search, uh, this right here is ranking number one. So it's pulling this image from the YouTube thumbnail itself. So it's not pulling from a website or anything like that it is reading this information within the image that I created. So in this example, here's another thumbnail we created. I wanted to show you all the data it can pull when you have a person inside the image. Once that's uploaded, you can see there's a whole new section right here called faces. And you can see right here that since I'm smiling in this image, it picks it up as joy. So if you're trying to create more of a shock or an anger, you could put that expression on here and see if it can pick it up in the AI tools. So you can see right here, since I'm just smiling, it just keeps it as joy. And it gives you some other information down here, like how confident it thinks it is. So really good information. So underneath objects, you can see it picks up as person, shirt, and I'm not quite sure why it thinks it's a hat. Um, these systems are usually pretty good, but once in a while you'll get something like that where it thinks there's a hat 52%. So that's a little off, but if you go to labels, you can see smile, product, sleeve, there's a lot of good information here. Dress shirt, collar. It even knows I have a beard. Uh, engineer, not quite sure. So facial hair. It's picking up all of these words from the thumbnail back here or from the screenshot. So that's where it's getting some of that information. And just like the other one, you could see not only is it just picking up text, you can see that it can read inside of logos too. So this is just a logo of the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. So it's picking up UE the ultimate Elementor add-ons right here. And then it's picking up all of these other words inside here. So that's why if you look at some of our YouTube thumbnails, I purposely put some keywords back here so it can pick it up. That's done on purpose. 
And then if you go underneath properties, this is where it can tell you the different colors that it's picking up from the thing right here. So really useful. And then just like the other one, safe search. Uh, I think spoof is unlikely. It's the only one that's a little bit higher up, but yeah, as long as they're in the green, you should be good. So in this last example, I want to show you how you can use something like this. So we have the MailChimp logo and it can combine these into a keyword phrase. So now that you know that this is what it looks like, let me just upload this to the website and let's see what information it can come back. So just like my image, it comes back as joy. You know, we're not trying to do the anger or the surprise look. So everything is pretty much the same as the other one. And if you go underneath objects, it's got person, person clothing. So it's pretty good right there. Now we got to make sure that everything is good in here. It thinks that this is a uh, dentistry because she has a good smile, advertising, white collar worker, that type of information. But the text is where, you know, we want to make sure. Uh, so you can see right here, MailChimp is coming through. So underneath paragraph one, MailChimp pop-up forms. So what's cool about that is it can combine these together. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So free web design tips we have right here. This is just like the pop-up. So it does pick up some keywords right there. And then the safe search is all in the green. So we're good to go there. So yeah, like I said, let me type into uh, Google image search. We typed in MailChimp pop-up forms. So we aren't ranking at number one because there's a lot of competition, but once you start to scroll down right here, we should appear right around here, yeah. So same thing, it's picking up MailChimp pop-up forms as the keywords, and this is all coming from, uh, this is the YouTube thumbnail, so you can see right here. It's not anything within the file name or anything like that. It's picking it all up just straight from the image. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.